Hello wine lovers, Trophy Wine Hunter. Welcome back to my wine channel. So we're almost going to hit a new wild milestone, which is 500 viewers. We're getting close to this. Again, I'd like to thank all my subscribers and viewers. I know I'm not the most uh, concise person. I stumble through my words sometimes. My um, volume isn't good. Um, the lighting isn't good sometimes. But you guys have stuck with me and be really so polite about it. I do appreciate when you guys um, correct me when I make some mistakes. I'm learning too. So anytime that you see that, please let me know if I'm mispronouncing things or if um, you know something is incorrect. I'd like to learn too. And um, the wonderful thing is most, almost I think all the viewers and subscribers have been so polite about it when I make mistakes. They're really, really over the top polite and very um, intelligent in terms of when they have a, a um, alternate uh, point of view. So anyways, we're getting to 500 views. So I am going to, when in that video, going to uh, do a little tour of my cellar, which people have asked for. It's very modest. So I'll explain that a little bit in my kind of my um, philosophy to wines and how much wine you should have in your cellar. So I've picked out a couple of bottles from my cellar and this will be a contest and will run until I get 500 subscribers and whichever wine has the most votes, that's the wine I'm going to drink. And I guess that's good for me. I don't care because I want to drink all of these wines. So I'm going to, I hope I've picked out some nice wines for you guys to choose and this will be on the bottom section. Please vote um, and tell me which wine that you think I should drink. First one is 96 Moros. Um, I had this in a previous video and I've had a couple of bottles. It's disappointed a couple of times so I'm gonna, if I drink this I'm really going to take some more care and figure out how I open it. Next one for Burgundy fans. This is um, Domaine Ponceau, uh, Ponceau and it's uh, Claude de la Roche. So if you're familiar with the, um, um, the series, uh, I think it's Sour Grapes. Uh, with um, the Rudy Canaran story. This is the wine. Um, also, um, these are the wines that he by and large forged. So uh, O2 is a great vintage for Burgundy Red. And so um, I've had this bottle before. It's, it's actually magnificent. Next for you champagne fans. And um, I wrap all my wines in kind of... Uh, plastic bags just to keep the label nice uh, so I don't want to kind of scratch the label when I put it through the racks in my in my uh, wine fridge so this is um, Philip and I uh, Clos de Gros 1996 um, a champagne a very nice champagne then we're gonna go to a couple American choices this is Lewis uh, 2013 the cap so this was the number one wine in wine spectator uh, magazine and then a um, cult wine this is uh, Sin Quana SQN and this is pictures this is from 2007 2007 and this is a Grenache um, so again won't take it out of the bag for now and my last choice is an interesting choice this is uh, Long Dai so this is Chateau Lafitte's winery First vintage out of China. I don't think anyone's. I, I don't think anyone's ever reviewed this. Um, it's very hard to get your hands on this. Um, we're very fortunate in BC. We get a lot because we have a large um, Asian population. Um, but um, this is first vintage Long Dai. I think it's gonna be a big collector's item uh, once people figure out what it is, because um, there's only one first vintage of Chateau Lafitte in um, winery in in China. So hope those are good choices. Hope that makes it difficult for everyone. I've tried to choose wines that are kind of um, in the drinking windows mostly. Um, so let me know in the comment section, just tell me which wine you have. We'll have a running poll. And once we hit, I hit uh, 500 subscribers, then um, I'll announce which wine um, uh, was picked and I'll review that wine. Again, thanks so much for your support guys. I appreciate everyone that watches. Um, I'll try to make better videos and um, I'll try to give you some interesting insight into wines. Um, I really 
appreciate all my subscribers, um, especially those who've stayed with me um, since I had like 10 subscribers. So uh, I know it's not a big deal for a lot of people. Like they think, well, 500, that's nothing. Some people have like millions and they get 500 a day. To me, it's a big deal. And I really appreciate you guys sticking with me. Until next time, happy dreams.